Good morning. Here are the Sanibel Island and Southwest Florida update as of February 2nd, 2023. I'm going to read directly from the latest memo from the USPS to Sanibel Island. Starting Monday, February 6th, Sanibel customers can begin picking up their mail at a temporary facility in the parking lot of the Sanibel Post Office, which is located at 650 Tarbin Bay Road. The temporary post office will offer retail services and PO off P.O. boxes, as well as mail, package, and P.O. box mail pickup. Hours of operation are Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., and Saturday from 10 a.m. to noon, closed on Sunday. The Postal Service is currently in the process of evaluating delivery points on Sanibel Island to determine the location where we can safely resume residential and business mail delivery. Until then, customers can pick up their mail at the new temporary post office. Signage will direct customers to the appropriate location for various services. Sanibel customers will no longer need to travel to the Fort Myers Processing and Distribution Center, which was at the Jetport Loop. As a reminder, customers must show a picture ID when picking up mail and packages, and again, this starts Monday, February 6th. Update on Periwinkle Park. They had a ribbon-cutting ceremony yesterday, opening up their campground to everyone, not just Sanibel residents. If you are interested in reserving a camping spot, email periwinklepark at AOL.com. The campground has 80 camping, camping spots. They're not necessarily available at the moment. I'm just letting you know the size of the campground. The owners of the park were quick to dispel the rumors that they were going to sell the park. They have owned it for 60 years and plan to own it for the next 60 years. In addition, Sanibel Carts is also open. It is a golf cart company that rents street legal golf carts. Guests and residents of Periwinkle Park will receive discounts on rentals. Seven of the 10 bald eagle pairs that Sanibel Captiva Conservation Foundation staff have been monitoring on Sanibel and Captiva have settled on nest locations for the 2022-23 breeding season. The SCCF reported that four of the nests have hatched in recent weeks. The first chicks hatched on January 3rd and they are expected to fledge by mid-March. In Florida, the bald eagle nesting season runs from October 15th through May 15th. <clears throat> Excuse me. I got a slight cough this week. Fish of Sanibel Captiva will host the United Way's Volunteer Income Tax Assistance, also known as VITA program, which provides tax preparation assistance. Qualifying households will have their returns completed and filed for them at no cost. Starting February 3rd, VITA will offer tax preparation service from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. at the Sanibel Public Library at 770 Dunlop Road, Sanibel. Appointments are required. During the approximate one-hour appointment, an intake tax return preparation and quality review will be conducted. Upon completion, the return will be filed on-site with the preparer. Households earning 66000 or less qualify for the program. VITA preparers are IS. IRS certified trained volunteers who ensure each return is maximized by informing participants of all tax credits and policies relevant to their personal tax situation. Side note, I was a volunteer with VITA during my college years. I don't remember having to be IRS certified. <laughs> a recommendation from my college professor was enough, but then again, taxes were a lot less complicated back then. Thanks for listening.